Now Weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. We're tracking a cold front that's starting to work its way into the Ozarks this morning, starting out our Monday with some showers and storms rolling through. Uh, what we're really seeing here is some locally heavy rain and lightning out of these storms. These oranges and reds depict some of that locally heavy rain. We've got a batch of lightning up near Bolivar, up towards Buffalo, and then just to the south and east of Camdenton, Lebanon about to get in on some locally heavy rain and lightning. Phillipsburg as well. This line continues back down to the south and west. West, Monette seeing some of that heavy rain and lightning, Mount Vernon, Miller, and pretty much that entire I-44 corridor. Springfield seeing some of that light to moderate rain right now, but that line of some of that heavier rain and lightning isn't too far behind. So we've got this line rolling through this morning. You'll have a wet morning commute, again, with the heavy rain and lightning being the threats that we're concerned about right now. This cold front continuing to charge south and east will bring us a chance for some scattered showers and storms today. And with the afternoon heat and humidity, bubbling up. We could have one or two storms be strong to severe in this green marginal risk here, especially along and south of I-44 where it's not raining right now. Those storms right now will probably kill any severe chances later for areas to the north and northwest and will probably dry out by the afternoon up to the north and northwest with storms possibly bubbling up near and ahead of that front again. If we see any strong storms, it would be mainly for some 60 mile per hour winds and quarter size hail. Again, locally heavy rain also a threat. So at the fair today, We'll have that storm chance. You want to keep that in mind. 87 degrees with some scattered showers and storms. I think the timing of this will be especially earlier in the afternoon. So if you're going around 12 noon, you got to watch out to see if there's any lightning around. We'll have a couple of more clouds by the evening with a temperature of 86, and then we'll dry out and clear out later on after sunset. It should be dry and nice if you want to go to the fair tonight instead of this afternoon. So hour by hour, we're looking at these showers and storms that we've got now pushing south and east by noon. But look what happens. They bubble up again, especially south and east of the interstate ahead of that front. And that's where we could have one or two strong storms. 87 degrees for that high temperature. The front clears by this evening. We're looking at drying conditions after sunset. A temperature of 66 degrees by tomorrow morning. Mostly sunny tomorrow afternoon and really nice, less humid. 86 degrees. It should be a beautiful afternoon. Then after that, things start to turn unsettled again. Because what will happen is, is that high pressure that keeps us nice on Tuesday starts to shove to the east and that's going to put us in a highway of storminess where these little burps and little hiccups roll through the Ozarks and prompt some chances for some showers and storms daily at the end of the week and then through the weekend. No day will be a washout here. We're not looking at a terrible day by any means, but it's a day where if you go into the lake or the fair, you're going to have to watch that color 10 weather app. Make sure there's no lightning nearby because we'll have a chance for some spotty showers and storms again Thursday, Friday, Saturday and then going into Sunday. 87 degrees today with some scattered showers and storms. Those south winds will shift to the north once the front comes through. 66 overnight with some clearing skies. 86 tomorrow, less humid and beautiful, mostly sunny skies there. We squeeze out another nice day on Wednesday. A couple of more clouds and 87 degrees. Then we start with that unsettled pattern really going into Thursday. A couple of showers and storms will be possible daily. No day washout, but you'll have to watch out for some lightning possible in the area. Those temperatures stay about average for late July and early August in the upper 80s.